Hello and welcome to Sports Gaming Universe channel here on YouTube. I say those words leading into each and every video, but what is Sports Gaming Universe? What does it mean to me? Sports Gaming Universe is first and foremost about the characters. It's about the players and their careers. It's about the teams, the franchises, the dynasties. It's about the creative player coming to life in the eyes of the viewer. It's about the interaction between commentator and subscriber. It's not just my channel, it is theirs as well. Sports Gaming Universe is not about one sport. It is diverse. It is full of variety. It's a Madden channel. No wait, it's an NBA channel. Nope, wrong again, it's a baseball channel. Any given day you can go from WWE wrestling to the cold hard ice of the NHL. I have a love for many sports and I think it shows in my content that I deliver to SGU. Sports Gaming Universe is and always has been about the story. I don't play to rack up huge stats. I don't play to show off. For me, the payoff is in the stories I weave. Whether it is a young quarterback's journey from high school, then to college, and eventually onto the pros, or an obscure coach taking a job at an overpowered university and turning it into a respectable college football program, I strive to deliver that story that you can buy into. The story that you can follow and return to time and time again. And that story that you can help me shape through your feedback. What is Sports Gaming Universe? It is a community where viewer and commentator can work together to deliver sports gaming entertainment that we both can believe in. So hello and welcome to Sports Gaming Universe channel here on YouTube. It's been a good run so far and we are only getting started. Now that you know a little bit more about me and my channel, I want to take this time to welcome you to the first annual Sports Commentator March Madness Tournament. I want to thank everyone involved in planning this tournament. It's truly a great idea for our sports gaming community. Let's face it, this is a spotlight. This is a chance for many sports commentators to show what they're worth. To show in front of an audience that might not know anything about them that they can deliver the goods. This tournament is about to get crazy. Think about it. You have basketball commentators. You have football commentators. Heck, if I heard correctly, I think we even have a rugby commentator. Big channels, small channels, everything in between. The point is that the sports gaming community finally has a stage on which to shine. And it's time to make the most of it. It's time to step up to the plate and deliver that pinch hit home run to walk off and win the game. I want to take this time to wish the best of luck to each and every one of my fellow sports commentators who have entered this March Madness Tournament. I hope that it brings you success. I hope you can go far into the late rounds. I hope this platform can bring you some notoriety, some respect to your channel that you feel that you deserve. Go get it. Now is your time. Don't get me wrong. No one's going to hand it to you. No one said it'd be easy, but you can do it. Last off, I want to thank the fans, the viewers, the subscribers to all these channels for coming out here and checking out the videos. Because without you, there is no March Madness Tournament and there are no sports commentators. So once again, thank you. So enjoy this tournament and go ahead and check out SGU if you get a chance. I'd love to see you over there. See you later, guys. I'm out. Hey guys, how's it going? Braid here bringing you back into the series. It is Hunt for the Title with your favorite coach, John Chief Parker. It is week 14 this week, conference championship week, and we are facing off against Northern Illinois and their dangerous quarterback, Jordan Lynch. It should be a very exciting matchup. I'm very excited to be here. 
in the sports commentator March Madness. Thank you to everyone who has made this possible. Thanks to the four guys who set this thing up. They're doing a great job. It's a very cool thing for the community, and I'm very excited and very honored to be a part of it. Anyways, into the gameplay, Spencer Keith has just done an interception, and Drewetcher chased the defender down right before the end zone to avoid a pick six. Northern Illinois does capitalize though with a touchdown, and that means Kent State is down 31 to 17 until Treyon Durham busts up the middle and gets us a touchdown right there. That's going to put the score to 31 to 24 as we go into the fourth quarter. And John Chief Parker is well aware he needs a play to break this game open to tie it up. Spencer Keith dropping back, he delivers a ball over the middle deep to Drew Archer. Holy cow! Thank you, Harry, for the great call on that play. Let's look at the replay one more time. Ezri Archer burns his defender, cuts all the way downfield, and Spencer Keith delivers a perfect pass right into the breadbasket for a great touchdown right there, and that is going to tie the game up at 31 in the fourth quarter. And the Golden Flash faithful is excited as they see their Kent State team getting back in this game. And now with two minutes left, Kent State with an opportunity to go by a touchdown, but unfortunately they come up with a sack and are forced to kick a field goal. But luckily our field goal kicker does boot it through and that is going to put Kent State up 34 to 31 with two minutes left in the game. And all that Kent State's defense has to do is stop Northern Illinois once and they will walk away victorious in this matchup. Third and three here. Kent State's defensive end jumps off sides unfortunately but it doesn't really matter because Northern Illinois running back is picking up at least 10 yards on that play and they're just going to decline that penalty of course. But I do want you to pay attention to the trend of offsides that you're starting to see here. Two in a row right there, that was on fourth and five where Northern Illinois was about to attempt a field goal. Now it's third and goal, we have to stop him here. Hand off to the right, running back cuts out to the right side and he's going to get tackled right before the goal line. Fourth and goal here, and their players jump offside once again for the third time on this drive. I can honestly say I've never seen that happen before. But they do make a different kind of decision. They're going to decline this penalty and take the points and put their confidence in their team to win the game in overtime. Bad decision. Second and goal here. Spencer Keith drops back in the first overtime, hands the ball off to Dre Archer. Touchdown, Kent State. Kent State is now up 41 to 34 in the first overtime, and all they have to do is stop Northern Illinois once on this next drive, and they will walk away with a MAC Conference Championship. Jordan Lynch drops back in the pocket on fourth and goal. He sees no one open. He breaks the tackle. He delivers a pass to the end zone. Incomplete. And Kent State will walk away with a victory and a MAC Conference Championship. What a great game. What a great season it has been. What a great first season it has been for John Chief Parker as the offensive coordinator. Dre Archer is your MVP player of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, be sure to vote Brady XP. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.